Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Electric Marketing, and today I'm going to go through how to utilize Rebuy for your Shopify store. There are a ton of touch points across the entire customer journey that we like to leverage Rebuy, both from a pre-purchase standpoint, but also from a retention standpoint. So I'm basically going to walk through all the various ways that we utilize it at Electric and how you could apply it to your shop. So first and foremost, let's do a high-level overview of Rebuy. Um, within the platform, you're going to see in the left-hand navigation here, your dashboard, your widgets, and these widgets are the product recommendation uh, div codes that you can enter onto your site. You have your smart cart, which is the uh, slide-out cart on the right-hand side that you see on most of the stores that we work with, and I'll show an example here in a minute. You have your landing pages. Uh, these are for customer retention, both from a one-shot perspective, but also subscription. So there is a reactivate subscription landing page as well as a replenish your order landing page that I will show you. Uh, your data sources. So your data sources is where you can set your rules. So if cart contains X, then show Y, or you can leverage Rebuy's AI to do the product recommendations based off of their uh, system. You're also gonna have this retention tab, uh, reports. Reports is where you will pull your analytics, and then also integrations. So integrating with things like Clavio and Akendo. Now let's get, go ahead and get started with uh, the widgets. So dashboard, you're just gonna see a couple of recommendations, but we go ahead and jump in here into widgets. This is where you're gonna see all of the various widgets you can create for your site. So I'll start with the first one. First is homepage. Now, if you were to click on this, it will walk you through whether you wanna create like a top sellers, buy it again, featured items, or recently viewed. Now. This homepage widget will obviously sit on the homepage, but let's go ahead and do create top sellers, do a test. Now you'll be able to preview it. You can view what the data source is going to be as well, which if products equals anything, endpoint top sellers. So this is saying basically return your top sellers. Then we go back to the widget. This is where you can change the layout, whether it's an embed or if it's a pop-up, any discount. So if you want to do fixed or percentage discount, the data source over so here, we have the home top sellers test that was automatically created by Rebuy, but we could also do some of the default endpoints or, or build our own. General is just whether you want the product type to be one-time subscription or both. And then also whether you're going to uh, product page for learn more and what the add to cart redirect does it's whether it goes to cart to checkout or you just stay on the current page and then you can also go through here and see okay i want to establish the images as like a certain height i want to change the copy so instead of top sellers maybe we want to make it know, our favorites and then it'll just render in the preview here let's say we want to enable akendo reviews as well and then any advanced settings that you want to add to. Now, once, once you've gone ahead and set up everything on the right-hand side here, you can preview it in preview mode. So go to preview mode, and you'll see automatically that this R favorites was dropped down at the bottom here, manually installed, or automatically installed rather by the tool itself. So if you like the way it looks, you can go ahead and publish it live, or you can change around where you want to actually place it and by copying the div code here and dropping it into your theme via a custom HTML block. Now, that's the home page. Pretty straightforward. You can do the same thing with the product page as well. So let's pull this one up. You can see this customers who bought this item also bought. Now, if I were to go to website here you're going to see this recommended items tab at the bottom here as well this is exactly how the recommended items are rendered at the bottom so you can see that there is some different styling that's added by the development team but this is where the general sort of layout and framework and functionality is set up and provided so let's say we wanted to build a new one we do a new widget and then these are all of your different opportunities. So there's not only the ability to show 
uh, items based off of what the currently viewed product is, but you can say, oh, I want to add a pop-up for add to cart upsell. So as soon as somebody clicks add to cart, you're going to show them an alternative product that they would recommend. You can do the exact same thing with subscription upsells which would be adding a one-time product to the cart, but then the, uh, the offer is, hey, why don't you go ahead and uh, up upgrade this to a subscription instead? And there's a bunch of different items that you can choose from here, but these are all product page sort of widgets, features, and tools that can be rolled out onto your site. Now, the best way to do this is to go ahead and utilize a tool like Google Optimize, so you can actually A-B test the impact of implementing some of these upsells, add-ons, and dynamic product recommendations. So that way you don't roll out just a bunch of different things at once and don't have any ability to measure and gauge the actual success and performance of it. Now let's jump back into widgets here. You'll see cart. So this is the cart cross sell, but let's say we're gonna do a new widget. Now you can do recommended in a cart flyout. So this is great for when you're embedding it into an existing cart drawer. You can also do it on the cart page itself. Most of our clients, we recommend to bypass the cart page and just have the slide out cart and then have that go direct to checkout. And then again, there's just more rules that you can put here as well. So you could display previously purchased items or fall back to other recommended items, recently viewed, gift of purchase or featured items. Now what this looks like in practice, let's go ahead and add a bag to cart here. You're gonna see this you may also love so caramel, vanilla coffee, blueberry coffee, I can also upgrade them to subscription and save 20%. I also have costs to upgrade to subscription here. And then I could go direct to checkout or continue shopping. Now the same applies for the actual cart page itself. So if I were to go to a cart here, you can see customers who bought this item also bought at the bottom. And this is dynamically pulled in by rebuy and just sits underneath the cart page. And then you can see here, you can toggle between one-time purchase and subscribe and save. And then there's also this free shipping bar up here, which can be represented in the slide out cart as well. $45 away from free shipping. Now hopping back in here, and that is the cart page. Then moving on, we'll take a look at the Shopify checkout page. Now, I don't typically, um, utilize the Shopify thank you or the recharge thank you page. What I'm typically doing is this post purchase offer, which is a one click offer shown immediately after the Shopify checkout. And the reason why is because this post purchase one click offer adds whatever the upsell is to that existing order, not to a new one. So if in this case, let's say we want to show you're going to have less than 10 minutes to hurry up and add this Brentwood coffee maker for a discount, which you set in here, discount is 30%. So this is rendered immediately after checkout in between the order confirmation page and the order actually processing. This pops up, customer clicks pay now or add to, add to your order, whatever language you wanna make it, and it's gonna automatically append it to the existing order huge value add here in terms of upping AOV, increasing um, conversion rate, and then you're also able to split test this as well. Now, one important thing to note there, which I will pull up here, is you have to select Rebuy as the default post-purchase app in the Shopify admin checkout settings, which you can see if you just click that link when it shows up in checkout, you're going to have these options here for the post-purchase page. And so if you just select rebuy, then that'll make sure that this upsell is rendered. Next, you have your Shopify checkout page and recharge checkout page. So both of these are set up similar, just like all the other widgets, but where they are being showcased is different. So if I were to check out here, you're going to see some upsell opportunities right here. So these recommended add-ons, this is powered by the Shopify checkout page. So it allows you to show offers and recommendations directly in checkout. Now, if you're still on the classic checkout for recharge, 
you have to have a separate one as well for the recharge checkout page. So it'll look the exact same as this, but it's just gonna be the subscription checkout. So if I were to go ahead and go back, and let's say I want to, I wanna upgrade this to subscription. Great, now I'm gonna check out. This is gonna take me through the recharge checkout, but you'll still see these one-time add-on options. So caramel vanilla coffee, I can go ahead and add that. And this is all powered by Rebuy. So again, those are Shopify checkout page and recharge checkout page. I already covered the post-purchase offer, account page. So essentially this is just shoppable order histories. And if I were to go in here, you can do a buy it again style uh, recommendation. So whatever your previous order was, go ahead and just replenish it. You can also showcase other recommendations based on what they previously purchased before. And this would sit in the account page. So let's go ahead and create a test one here. So we'll do test, shopful order history, data source. Now, typically when you're creating some of these widgets, Rebuy is just making the endpoints for you. You can always go ahead and change them. And then it'll show you the preview on the side here as well. And in terms of um, placement, again, just the div code that you install into the account page. Now hopping back in here, you have a gift of purchase. And again, we're skipping these two because these do not add it to the existing order, both the Shopify thank you page and the recharge thank you page. And we don't want to play, we don't want to pay for two shipments. So that's why we use the post-purchase offer, which adds the product to the existing order and doesn't create a separate order for fulfillment. Now, gift with purchase, you can see here that there's this data source, cart, gift with purchase. And again, they don't have a user interface. So let's go ahead into the data source here and you'll see if cart subtotal is greater than $34.99, we're gonna add a silver plated coffee scoop. So you can see that on site here. If I were to add three of these, I'm gonna surpass that $35 mark and it will automatically add in this free gift that just popped up. If I take it back down to two products, it's gonna go below the threshold and now the free gift disappears. So that functionality is powered by Rebuy and allows you to do really robust gift with purchase um, marketing rollouts. And one of the best things is that you can have this be, if the cart is greater than 50, do something else. If it's greater than 75, do something else. So the, the bar up here doesn't have to be free US shipping either. It could be at $50, you get free shipping. At 75, you get a free coffee scoop. At 100, you get a free coffee maker. And so you can build out all those rules and rebuy and have it uh, reflect on site. Now, one of the last things is the custom widget. So really the only place where we'll use the custom widget is within the Malomo uh, order tracking pages. So on this example here, you can see these products. Now this is the order tracking page for one shot customers powered by Malomo. And we've embedded the rebuy div here. And you can see, you can upgrade the subscription and save, you can add the cart. And this is just powered by Rebuy's AI, showcasing the four products that are most likely to be purchased by that particular customer. And then last but not least is the link builder. So there's this recharge checkout link creator, Shopify checkout link creator, and Shopify cart page link creator. And what this does is it will build pre-filled checkouts with whatever products you want included, whatever discounts, you can technically do this manually if you know how to build the codes, but it is a lot simpler if you simply just copy this as well. And again, you can see just replace the variant IDs with whatever properties you want to actually do. So that covers the widgets. Next is the smart cart. So the smart cart, we utilize this on a lot of our clients' websites, but we'll use uh, the coffee brand as an example. Now, what this looks like while live 
is this. So this smart cart here, I'm gonna hide the re rebuy preview. So smart cart has the ability to change the delivery frequency. You can switch it back to one time. If I switch it back to one time, it will show me upgrade a subscription and save. I also have the ability to add these other products and decide whether I want to upgrade them to subscription or not. And then again, the smart cart powers that gift with purchase functionality, but you also see the free shipping bar up here and all of that is set within the tool. So minimum price, $60 for free shipping. And then the language, so you are remaining amount away from free shipping. Then once it's been reached, congrats, you've reached free shipping. We've toggled on the switch to subscription functionality. So upgrade a subscription and save 20%. This is all the copy that you can change as well. Your cross sell widgets. So these are the widgets that you build for the cart page. This you may also love. And so what that is saying is, okay, your cross sell widget is widget 4669. That's built in the widgets tool here. The smart cart is pulling this and dropping it into here you may also love as you can visualize here and so if we were to want to change any of what is reflected in the cart we would change it within the widget here and then the widget is utilized within the cross sell functionality and then again just more language whether or not you want to offer a discount or not if i were to toggle that on you would drop in your messaging checkout button, whether or not we want the continue shopping button, which you see here, checkout or continue shopping. We've disabled the cart page. So if they try to navigate to the full cart page, that forward slash cart, it's going to take them to the home page and then have the slide out cart automatically open because we don't utilize the cart page for this particular customer. We can also call out whether payment installments are selected or, or are accepted or not on the store and then anything else that you want to include. Highly recommend the smart cart. We use it across uh, Soylent, your Super, Amora, a bunch of our brands. It's just a great way to sort of personalize and enhance that uh, checkout experience and just provide greater sort of testing ability for marketers in terms of increasing conversion rate and increasing average order value. Next is landing pages. So first we're gonna start with this reorder landing page. We use this frequently and I'll show you an example as well where we'll use it in Klaviyo is replenishment flows. So the reorder landing page, what it looks like is, and I'll go ahead and open this email. It takes people back to a page with their previous order pre-populated. So this person placed an order for $81. They had these three items. So when I preview this email in Clavio, if I click this reorder now button, it's gonna take me to this rebuy landing page that has the previous order pre-populated. So it was two forever beautiful mixes, one super green and one plant collagen. You see the free shipping threshold here. I can upgrade them to subscription and save if I would like. But then there's also these other recommended products at the bottom too that I could add in. And then it just takes you direct to checkout. So this is a great way for like engaging your one shot customers and make it very easy for them to replenish whatever they previously purchased. Then the next one is the reactivate landing page. So this is powered by um, the recharge and rebuy integration. This reorder landing page is for one-shot customers. This reactivate is for churn subscribers, making it very easy for them to actually go ahead and reactivate. So both of these pages, you're utilizing them in your Klaviyo flows by creating the links provided by Rebuy. So if I were to click on this, you'd see yoursuper.com forward slash apps forward slash Rebuy, and then passing through the last order ID here. The question Shopify order ID equals event.extra.customer.lastorderid. So that way the URL is dynamically populated with the last order ID. Then the same would apply for this recharge reactivate landing page. So 
passing through the subscription ID of the customer into the rebuy URL that you build out in your Klaviyo flow that will take them to a page um, such as this, where you literally just click the button and it'll automatically reactivate the, uh, the subscription. So those are the two landing pages and how we typically use them. Next is data sources. And so these data sources are where you build your rule sets. Some of them are created automatically. Like when I go into widgets, if I were to create a homepage widget, like I did previously, you're going to see this data source home top sellers test. This was just automatically created when I built that widget. You can also build your own rule sets or modify these rule sets. So let's say I want to create a new rule set. I'm going to filter out of stock products. I'm going to say if customer order count is greater than five, then I am going to return a thank you description. Or if customer order count is greater than five and um, products, product quantity one, product equals anything, then I'm going to return. Let's say I want to go ahead and do a discount. I'll return a 30% off discount. And endpoint is the recommended AI or something like that. Now, this is just where like you build out your rules. Say I go ahead and save it. Now I need to apply this data source to a widget. So the data source is the underlying framework for which the widget pulls in the results and renders them on site for the visitor or customer. Now, so this is where you can say, if, for example, you really want to push, I don't know, a new product for your upsells in that post-purchase one-click upsell module, what you would do is say if products contains equals anything, then what you're going to do is return, and let's say we really want to push the, I don't know, the, Delica, the Vigorosi coffee one, regular ground. So if I were to save this, then I would go over to widgets and create a post-purchase offer right here. And then when I'm selecting the data source, which is here, as opposed to it being post-purchase offer, I'd go ahead and flip it over to the new one. So right now we're saying if anything, collection bundles and kits, we could do is say return specific products and we only want to do the Vigorosi one. So that's how the widgets and the data sources work together. Next is reports. So within reports, you're going to be able to see your performance, your performance across all the widgets, but also your post-purchase uh, one-click upsell reporting as well. There's also these legacy reports here, which is the reactivate subscription. This reactivate subscription is primarily utilized with the old functionality they used to have called reactivate campaigns which we don't use anymore because we utilize the landing pages that we build within, or that we build emails out for in Klaviyo and then drive to the rebuy landing pages. So in terms of the performance report, let's go ahead and take a look at 30 days. And so you can see total order count, orders with the rebuy add-on, how many rebuy sales, the average order value of rebuy, rebuy's AOV boost, sales attribution by type, so whether it was rebuy, switch the subscription, the cart, update your subscription frequency, switching to one time, and then you can see where they happened as well. So we had eight sales happen on the Malomo order tracking page. You see the cart page, the Shopify checkout page, the recharge checkout page, and then the gift with purchase. So this allows you to break down sales by widget and then these just give you some graphs at the bottom as well. And the other report is the post-purchase report. So this just shows us, okay, 330 upsells have been sold or have been displayed after checkout. 10 have converted, so a 3% conversion rate. That's not a little bit on the lower side for the ones that we're typically seeing. Let's hop into this rebuy instead.
see here that a little bit over 6.3% conversion rate, how much revenue per order, total sales driven by it. And I'm really excited for our clients to be able to switch over to the unified checkout because right now the post-purchase one-click upsell offer is only shown on the unified checkout and not on the subscription checkout. So that'll be a really big sort of leg up for our brands that are very subscription oriented that most of their checkout uh, right now are going through the recharge classic connector. And then last but not least is integrations. So pretty straightforward here. You just go ahead and set it up as you normally would. Click on the integration. There's some very simple rules for you to follow. And then you choose whether you're on the recharge or the Shopify checkout for this one. And then also whether you use a custom recharge checkout domain. And then for Klaviyo, you just go ahead and add in an API key. Same with Yapo, Akendo, and so on. It's all very straightforward in terms of building these out. Now, the last one to touch on is Malomo, which I showcased here. And this is very straightforward. All you're doing is building out a custom widget in Rebuy. So within widgets, you're going to go to custom. And you can build your own. So you can see here, we called it the Malomo tracking page widget. And then all we did is embedded it onto the page here. So just take, when you go to placement, just copy that and you just drop it into your Maloma landing page. So now these order tracking pages are showcasing these recommended products based off of Rebuy's AI engine. So in summary, Rebuy is a very powerful tool for increasing average order value for increasing retention and integrates really nicely with the Klaviyo Recharge tech stack that we're typically using with our Shopify merchants. We're primarily using it in a couple of places on site. For one is the actual product pages themselves. So the recommended products that you see at the bottom, where you can also use it is when you click add to cart, you can have an immediate upsell offer show as a pop-up. Or what we do is utilize their smart cart, which shows the free shipping bar up top ability to upgrade to subscribe and save. You see the free gift with purchase functionality here as well because the order is above $35. Then within the actual checkout process, we're going to showcase the rebuy widget within the Shopify checkout page. So you can see these recommended add-ons that are showcased here. If I were to actually check out, I'm going to see that big post-purchase one-click upsell offer with a timer that says something along the lines of, you have five minutes to save 30% if you add this product to your existing order. Then we also utilize it for our reorder landing pages. So we'll build these flows out in Klaviyo and you just pass through the Shopify order ID to create these reorder landing pages. It builds out the cart pre-populated with the past order for that customer. It makes it very easy for them to replenish. And then the other place is in the Malomo landing pages. And these are the order tracking pages that we build out with the Malomo team. And we drop in the recommended uh, product widget here. And that's basically it. There's a bunch of different ways that you can utilize this both pre and post purchase while also increasing your retention and would highly recommend rolling this out with any Shopify store. And the best part about rebuy is that you're really incentivized to utilize it in as many different touch points as possible. It essentially combines an upsell uh, tool with a post purchase upsell tool with a retention tool. There's a bunch of different apps within the Shopify ecosystem that this sort of combines in one for your all-in-one product recommendation, personalization, and upsell, um, really database and framework for you to build and test off of. And it has a really easy implementation with Google Optimize as well, so that you can A-B test almost all of these sort of features and widgets that we just walked through, just to make sure that you're showing an incremental lift for any of these new uh, tools that you're going to be rolling out. And that's essentially it. Thanks again for watching. You can always reach out to us at electricmarketing.com or reach out to me on LinkedIn or just drop a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I hope everybody found this useful and that you'll be able to leverage Rebuy to effectively increase your AOV on your store, but also improve your retention efforts.